Розкажи мені, як любити, як чекати, як творити, коли все, що в мене в думках, це ти, ти. Hello everybody, this is Dima from Skill Studio and today we have a special guest from Estonia. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Anna Maria, I'm from Tallinn, Estonia. Cool. So I'm happy to see you here and um, you just had a workshop. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you just tell me what was the point, what was the message, uh, what you want to say to the students who did your Horea and uh, what all about it was? Yeah. Um, yeah, the class went really, really well. Uh, the students were super open, super nice. Everybody was smiling. I always love when people smile in my class because then I feel more comfortable and more at home. Because you're still always a little nervous when you teach, so it's nice when people smile to you. Um, yeah, the main thing that we work with today was the dynamic difference of uh, being minimalistic, being simple, yet still strong, and changing the dynamics to relaxed and free and open. Okay, so it was all about the contrast. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Mean, yeah. The, between it's the all about the contrast. Yeah, okay, exactly. why do you think it is important in the dance? Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, I think this is something I have thought about a lot, especially lately, because um, you try to find new things. You, you, you're trying to su surprise yourself, kind of, with something you do. So I feel like contrast is one of the best tools to surprise yourself and to show difference. Because if you're all the time the same, it doesn't matter if you're like, you can be the best dancer in the world, but if it's the same the whole time, at some point it still gets boring, like for the viewer and for yourself. So I think contrast is what like helps to get out of this routine kind of. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, as we talked before, you do a gym as well. Yeah. So you prepare your, <laughs> you prepare yes. your body for, for the yes. dance, right? Yes. And uh, how often you do and why you decide to do it? It's the, one of the... You know, I cannot the curse here, can I? Huh? I can't curse here, can I? <laughs> okay, no, but um, because of my background and because I used to do gymnastics professionally, uh, I was very used to um, a physical training being part of the whole process. So it doesn't matter, even if dance is more so art form, as a lot of people perceive it to be, you're still working with your body, so your body needs to be strong, your body needs to be healthy, your body needs to be ready to take whatever you're throwing at it. So I think it's incredibly important to to train yourself. And also it prevents injuries, so I think, because I really want to dance a long time, so I really want to take care of my body so that it can take everything that I throw at it. So, so yeah. what, what do you do else? Like gym? Um, yeah, I do gym, I started weight training, and I'm absolutely loving it because I used to be at the like the classical girl thing that like girls shouldn't do weight because you're gonna be bulky and huge. But then I did some research and I was like, okay, that was stupid of me to think that. <laughs> um, so yeah, now I do weight training, but I really, really love yoga. It's not as good for me because I am hyper flexible, so yoga doesn't do good to me. Yeah, yeah, because because right, like yoga is for you to be flexible, but mm -hmm. I'm already hyper flexible, so. Well, it doesn't, yeah, yeah, it doesn't help me. So Pilates be, is better. Ah, Pilates, yeah, yeah, because yeah. Pilates trains your core muscles and your like muscles, it makes yeah. you stronger, and it keeps your joints and like stuff in place. Mm. Yeah. Cool, cool. And uh, I want to ask you. So you do a lot of stuff with your body, like yes. dance, uh, gym, yo mm -hmm. yoga, Pilates. So yes. how you find the motivation to do it like, every day? <laughs> I mean, what is it all about the discipline or about yeah. the motivation? Yeah, what yeah, is yeah. all about? Yeah. yeah, it's all about the discipline. Um, there is a I don't know if I can like talk about it, but there is a really good book that I read that really motiv. I think it motivated me. It's called Atomic Habits, yeah. uh, and the, like the main idea is that like small things make a huge change in a long time so I really really believe in that because I've seen that so much on my students I've seen that in life so this is what I kind of live for um, I think change is what motivates me like if I'm not feeling dance I'm gonna go gym if I'm not feeling gym I'm gonna go dance if like there are a lot of things you can do with body and also I think uh, movement keeps your mental health in place as well so it helps me to stay sane and normal Okay, so uh, one more question I want to ask. Uh, so uh, even like two questions. So what would be your, um, your uh, advice for mm -hmm. a beginner dancer and mm -hmm. for dancer who may be stuck? Oh, okay, you that's a good this? question. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know what you're talking about. Um, for a beginner dancer is um, try to be smart and figure out what you, what teachers you like, what styles you like, but also try everything you can. Like 
just try everything you can because you're not going to figure out what you like if you just try one t-shirt um, and just keep going to classes to be honest because I get this from my beginner students when they come to me and they're like oh tell me what I should do better or what I should do different and to beginner students I always say just come to class and just train because you're gonna grow so much just from class you don't you shouldn't overthink you just, just you have to like train a lot but for the dancers who are stuck this is a very good question um, I think going out um, is it like out of your style out of your country to train somewhere trying new things always helps I feel like it motivates like people around you motivate for example I see that when my dancers get really stuck and then we bring somebody to teach then they're like unstuck all of a sudden because they're <laughs> like oh that was cool I can dance like I loved it it was cool I can see where I'm going with this like where I can be if I keep on doing it so yeah try new things I would say <laughs> Okay, thank you, thank you for coming to the studio. Thank you, thank it you for having me. Amazing. Thank workshop. you for having me. So, Aww. thank you. Good luck thank you. <laughs> for everybody. Peace and thank you for watching. Yay!